fake news purporting to connect sexually explicit material to the daughter of the only female presidential candidate in the Philippines' upcoming national election has jolted the race. The intended target appears to be Lenny Robredo, the current vice president, who is now running for president and is the chief rival of frontrunner Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. The fabricated news posted on a porn site is no longer accessible. Only a headline alludes to a salacious video of Robredo's 34-year-old daughter, Ika. Ronnie Holmes, president of the polling firm PulseAsia says that in an election campaign swimming in disinformation, the attempt to smear the Robredo family is a new low. This is gutter politics at its lowest. And the most debased act any partisan can engage in, he says. However, this is the social media ecology that has developed over the last almost six years. In that time, the presidency of Rodrigo Duterte has provided a sort of petri dish in which contempt for women has proliferated, says the University of the Philippines' Rachel Kahn. Noted for his foul mouth, Duterte often humiliated women with sexist remarks, creating a climate that critics say is shorn of decency and where anything goes. Kahn a journalism professor, says the bid to taint Robredo's daughter with a false story weeks before voters render their verdict on her mother is shocking, but not surprising. We have a very misogynist administration, a very misogynist president, who has encouraged this sort of demeaning women be. She beat out Ferdinand Marcos Jr. for the job, in a stunning come-from-behind victory has accused her of cheating ever since, and for years fought the results. As they prepare to face off again, this past week the 56-year-old vice president squarely blamed Marcos for disparaging her eldest daughter. I'm not surprised. This is how the opposition operates, she said. How they fight right now, this is what they'll be like in power. Full of lies full of dirt. They should highlight the good and the good they can do, Robredo said. The Marcos campaign denies any involvement and accused Robredo of black propaganda. Khan's fact-checking project reports that almost all the disinformation about Robredo is negative, while disinformation regarding the scion of the Marcos family overwhelmingly puts him in a positive light, embellish. The younger Marcos has used social media to rewrite the history of his once disgraced family, portraying his parents, Ferdinand and Imelda Marcos, as philanthropists, and his father's administration, historically tied to human rights abuses and multi-billion dollar graft, as visionary, 